The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. This. Introducing the challenger from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 225 pounds, Buddy Matthews. And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Damien Priest! What is going on guys, Apple Diamond Racing, we're back with another episode of WWE 2K23 Universe Mode and as you can see by the time on the screen we have a, well not by the time but by the time on your screen the title rematch clause is in effect on Raw Buddy Matthews lost at the recent pay-per-view Damien Priest beat him, he's no Vulcan's rematch clause for that there Intercontinental Champion Damien Priest has a judgement day at ring so Buddy Matthews has no one he wants to go in alone so he can take back his revenge whereas Damien Priest is got, has got Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley the judgement day who will be in action later on tonight as you can see both men cause slight injuries to each other the arms of Buddy Matthews still injured from Damien Priest's attack a few weeks ago and um, Damien Priest had his head injured slightly but they've still been cleared to compete and um, yeah, like I said, Finn Balor will be in action later. Uh, Rhea Ripley won't be. We need to try and maybe go on something for her for that. Brutal cross body there by um, Damien Priest. Now I'm going to go into the match commentary. Damien Priest now hits Buddy Matthews with a beautiful vertical suplex, trying to make sure he proves that that win at the pay per view was not a fluke. Buddy Matthews cleverly ran outside the ring. Damien Priest follows. Oh, on top. Whatever Corey just said. Oh, Buddy Matthews is attacking his own fiance there. He's getting cooked by Dom, but we move. Ref wasn't too impressive. Really, really trying to get involved here. Going in for the pin. And of course, nowhere near enough damage yet for the new Intercontinental Champion. Matthews now with a beautiful combo. Ended it with a Tiger Suplex. Then gets the champion up to his feet. Brutal forearm reversal. There. Elbow to the leg. Buddy Matthews now using his strength for a running sit out power bomb. Absolute power on display there from the former champ. The challenger tonight. This is a bit risky for Darren, but he's having to get himself time to recover. I guess like a double end sword. He hasn't gave himself enough time to recover since he only lost it last night. If I give a few guys, it's been a lot for days. Um, but at the same time, Damien Priest isn't fully recovered from the match either, so maybe. Like I said, double end sword. Integrity reverse and on the outside. Gets Matthews up to his feet as the ref counts five. Both men are now in the ring just as the ref went to count six. Damien Priest out. Flat line out. Absolute be beautiful move there. Not looking good here, Damien Priest now with South of Heaven connects, going in for the pin. One, two, oh, Buddy Matthews has just kicked out of two. Damien Priest is not seem impressed here. What's he going to do now? Tiger suplex maybe. Oh, the ref didn't see the low blow. The ref did not see the low blow to escape the Tiger suplex position. Nice looking gut buster there. Now he gets Damien Priest up to his feet. Running by Skunik and next. But wait a minute. Rhea Ripley's distracted around Fiance. This is not good. Fiance versus Fiance. Something might go wrong here. This might cause a breakup of the relationship. She's now distracting the ref. But Buddy Matthews going in for the pin. The ref has not realised yet. Giving Damien Priest more time to get back to his feet. Well, to get his show back. One. Two. Free! New champ. New champ. Buddy Matthews is just. Why am I struggling to kick out of them? Like. Oh, okay, bro. Damien Priest is not going to be too pleased with that one, I must admit. 
that is not going to be a great look for Buddy Matthew. Well, Damien Priest there. But the House of Black have regained a title. Time to go to the next match. The Prince has arrived. A man who has passed judgment on all of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day. From Bray, Kelly Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ben Balor. I've been looking forward to this one. his opponent representing the powerhouse from Amsterdam in the Netherlands weighing in at 215 pounds I don't understand why people think this athlete's such a bad person here we are guys it's the arguable leader of Judgment Day versus the arguable leader of House of Black the question is what's going to happen in this match with former European champion he just lost the belt because he had to relinquish because the Raw and WWE decided they didn't want too many card belts. They wanted to give people opportunities, yes. But at the same time, they wanted, like, if you, they want you to fight for a title. Like, the European title was big, don't get me wrong. But WWE said that they didn't want to lower the feeling of the IC belt, which I disagree with personally, but oh well. I think it's because obviously the IC belt's meant to be the big one. And so the one the superstars to try and go for the best and not the secondary best. Which Alistair Black is a former champ which he sadly did lose his chance to become the IC champion when he faced Damien Priest and his House of Black alumni. I can't say that word right. Um Buddy Matthews. But at the moment, it started off very good for Finn Balor, but the turns are starting to table from Flip Net Break, and Finn Balor just about moves out of the way. Back elbow to the face of Balor here. Oh, brutal backbreaker here. Why do I keep saying here and new? Oh, shit, me over the top rope he goes. Jumping, he reversed. Finn Balor back to his feet as Black sends him into the barricade, then smacks his head off it. Oh man, T taking air time out here to pull more down to each other since they only do have a 10 count. May not seem long, but it's long enough for these men to cause that extra bit of damage with the weapons outside. Stomping on the face of the four men WGP. Heavyweight champs, one of Ref now at six, throws Balor into the apron. He's taunting to the crowd, Finn Balor's still groggy. Ref telling him to get to his blood, like, start to concentrate. Went counted an eight. Oh, wait a minute. Straight. Finn Bella got it eight, but he walked straight into a spinning knee. Oh, the end. The end is reversed. Going into the pin here. And he kicks up for the ref. Couldn't even get a one count. Sweeping here. Only legs here. That's it. What's Malachi Black thinking of doing out? Deadly German suplex showing off his strength. Any striking attributes, it's amazing since he learned Dutch style kickboxing, brings it into the world of professional wrestling. Three stomp to the side there. This is not looking good for the judgment day over House of Black here. But Malachi Black fights back, slams Finn Balor into the mat and connects a springboard sent on. Finn Balor tried to roll out, but Malachi Black was in the way. He now goes up to the top. What goes up? Must come down. Moves all reversed. Yeah, he didn't get all of it. Malachi Black with a reverse layup. Into Rose Cods Ballot. Jumping knee connects. 
Man, I've got a black now. What's going to happen here? Two clotheslines. Follows up with a sweep of the leg. Oh, no. Finn Balor reverses it. He's trying to roll away here. Slamming oh, Malachi Black into the map. What's Balor thinking of doing? Forearm connects. Malachi Day fighting back. Three kicks to leg. The end. The end connects. Going in for the pin. One, two, three. Malachi Black. He takes back that loss I had at the pay per view and beats the arguable leader of Judgment Day. The animal has been unleashed. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the Animal Batista! The Animal has... And his opponent from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Chris Cherry Cole. Look at how conceited this can be. As you can see, guys, we have a Dave in Y2J, Chris Jericho, going against Batista, a recent loss his title match at the previous pay-per-view. But I'm pretty sure he's still not happy with the loss. So he probably ain't done going after that world title just yet. Pretty sure they've had a real ring in the past, but might it be rekindled here tonight, or might Batista get the W? We do not know. Sherika has been all over the animal, the former challenger to the world title, and maybe challenges it for again soon. Batista, again, though, has a slight injury from his match at the pay per view. But speaking of Batista, it's not fight them, I spoke too soon. Injury connects now. I just want to double check what Christian Cog moves. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Batista is, he's not impenetrable. It's nothing he hasn't been through. Oh, Batista, oh, no, my every time Simon Batista's about to fight back. Chris Jericho stops the potential attack from happening. Speaking of, Batista stops an attack with a dragon screw takedown whilst being busted open. But Chris Jericho knocks him back down. He's climbing up to the top ropes we rarely see from Jericho. On the outside now, crossbody connects. Chris Jericho proving he belongs here in WWE since leaving. And going to AEW in New Japan, so on and so on. Attack to the midsection here. Batista now gets up with a kneeling jawbreaker to Y2J. Close on knocks down. The, one of the best to ever do it. He now gets him up into position for a vertical suplex. Going in for the pin, but is there enough damage to him get a one? Not just yet, there isn't. Oh, Batista now gets Jericho into a bear hug. Could this be it? If it's not, it wears down the back of Jericho, which is smart for the Batista bomb, Spawn Buster, and Spear. The moves at that target, the Torso area. Well, Chris Jericho fights out of it now. A punch to the cut. Oh, what's he thinking of doing here? It's all upon his shoulders. Electric chair elbow. The electric chair elbow connects. Chris Jericho now. Judas effect. Judas effect goes in for the pin. One, two. Batista kicks out of it. Chris Jericho does not look impressed here. He thought that was it. It's ended many moves, one in many bouts away from WWE. Elbow drop reversed by Jericho. Batista now carrying on the attack with a second vertical suplex of the match. Chris Jericho stopping that one bit of an attack. But Batista with the speed throws Jericho into the ropes. Ducks underneath. What's he going to do here? Slamming him into the mat. That's the one. Spinning side. So thank you, Michael. Oh, Van Bright. Jericho rolls out the way. Now for a springboard back elbow. Batista all quick enough to stop that. 
and he's scraping his boot across his head. All bionic elbows to the top of the head. Again, attacking the torso, which you might want to use for the lion tamer. And then a kick to the solar plexus, trying, literally trying to take the wind out of Batista. This has not been a good chance for Batista today. He's had his moments, but Jericho's been all over him, realistically. Chris Jericho now gets Batista to his feet. Cold breaker! Cold breaker connects. That took all of it out of Jericho. This is giving Batista time to recuperate. Going in for the pin. Is that rope breaker not just yet? One, two, four. Oh, Batista just grabbed the ropes. I didn't think the ref was going to see, but he just about managed to see it. Close on reverse by Batista. Chris Jericho's fighting back here. Knife edge chop, punch. Ends the combination with a backdrop suplex. Chris Jericho now following Batista outside the ring. Throws him into the steel steps. What's Jericho thinking? He's just pacing around here. Picks him up. Knife edge chop reverse by Batista. Elbow to the face. Then. Like I said, Batista's had his moments, but overall as a match, he, he's not been the greatest that we've seen. Drop kick here. Wait a minute. Batista's going in for a roll up. One! Ooh, and he kicks out at one. Chris Jericho now fighting back. Inzugu connects shit again. Hang on, I don't want to. Chris Jericho telling Batista to get up. Let's him fall into his trap. Wait, what's he got? It looks like he's going over Boston Crab, but Batista pushes him away. Gets him to his feet. Oh, no way. Batista, this could be the comeback of Sentry. Batista Bomb connects. Going in for the pin here. One, two. Chris Jericho kicks out at two. Oh, my lord. That is comeback of dreams. Chris Jericho knocks Batista down with a kick to the face. The crowd is right for forever. Both men have hit their signature moves and they've kicked out. But literal comeback there for Chris Jericho. Triple clothesline. Into the corner. That is absolute brutality. Chris Jericho now punches Batista, turning him around. Gets him electric chair position. You saw this earlier. The electric chair rolling elbow. Gets him to his feet for a second cold breaker. Gets him to his feet again. For a Judas effect. Going into the pinch. Sure, that's going to be it now. One, two, three. Chris Jericho becomes victorious on his raw debut. What a matchup this was. This has got to be a great feeling for Chris Jericho. But a bad feeling for the animal Batista. Multi-time world champion and a Royal Rumble winner. And to this day, one of the toughest fighters in WWE.
weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre has summoned... Yeah, again, guys, we've got another debut on Raw. Ilya Dragunov versus Drew McIntyre, which didn't, who hasn't also had the greatest of starts here at WWE in game anyway. He um, lost to Roman Reigns of the week. I think he's the go home show, but the pre show before the pay per view. But now he's against another debut on of tonight, Ilya Dragunov of NXT formerly. Nice combination, which ends with a DDT. He's doing very well against the former two-time WWE Champion, I can't remember. But former Intercontinental Champion, former WWE Champion. He's pointing it to the Scottish Warrior here tonight. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon, commentator's curse yet again. Fingers are looking to see. Oh, no, he's fighting back. He went to climb up the top turnbuckle, but Drew McIntyre makes the power of the gut wrench power bomb. They're going in for a pin. One. Oh, okay. He kicked it. Not much damage has been done to him, lots of things, but he's Drew McIntyre still kept him down for a one count, I guess. Fireman carry escape. Punch by Drew McIntyre. Let's think they're doing here. Picks him up. Michinoku driver connects. They boot to the dragon over the head two times. The crowd seems to be already excited for this match. Gets him to swing, uses his strength, and throws him into the ropes. Gets him up on the shoulders again, Fireman Carry. But this time, Ilya escapes with a trifecta for a veil to the temple. Oh, wait, he's getting through his clothes on. But Drew McIntyre reverses it for a neck breaker. This is not good for Leo here. The Glass region kiss connects. Which is a brutal headbutt from Drew. Maybe it starts off good, but not going to end well for Leo. One. Oh, he kicks out after one from the Glasgow kiss. What's he going to do now? Lifting up from his head, slamming him into the mountain. Yet again, showing off his strength. Kick to the head now. Ilya Dragunov signed to fire back. Clothesline connects. Two clotheslines. Grabs his leg. Kicks over from underneath him. The turns have indeed tabled. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I he's going for a future shock for some reason then. What's Drew thinking of doing here? A kick to the back. Looks like he's going to try and signature close on again, but manages to get blocked by Drew. What's Drew McIntyre thinking of doing here? Ilya dragging off on the outside. Wait a minute! The man outside just full flipped over the top rope with some sort of blancher. What disbelief. Yes, he's already shown off his strength in the time in this match, but he has just shown off his un unhuman athleticism, I guess you could say. A man outside shouldn't be able to move like that. This signature clothesline connects him. I don't know what, sort of uh, what does he call this move actually? I wanna. Torpedo mask effort. Yeah. Ilya Dragunov is signaling through. This could be the end for Drew McIntyre. Torpedo Moscow. That has got to be going in for the pin on Scottish Warrior. One, two. Drew McIntyre kicks out. Ilya Dragunov. You know, what a disbelief you thought that was it. What a debut it's been for him. Maybe a potential title shot in the future for him. Drew McIntyre now fighting back. Vertical release suplex here. Going in for the pin yet again. One. Oh, and yet again, Ilya kicks out at one. Trying to get back to his feet, but Drew McIntyre keeps him down. Oh, it is fighting back. Jumping sent on. What a match this has been. Such fun. To watch. Then this is for us at ringside. I'll come around to you guys at home watching it. You're an ugly boy, Leah, but he's now dropped again to a kick to the head. Drew McIntyre now in a mounted position, raining numerous strokes and finishing it off with a stomp to the solar plexus. What's Drew McIntyre doing here? Another Michinoku driver. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Dragon, I'm getting for the battle. One, two, Oh, Drew McIntyre kicks out. What well, upset that would have been. Crossbody now. He's even kicked a few of them tonight. Going up to the top rope. What goes up must come down. Diving knee to the midsection. Getting up to his feet yet again. But this time going to the middle rope. 
another dive in me. Oh. Jim McIntyre clever as out to the outside. Really dragging arms not getting in for it really either. Surely not. Can he? No. He calls himself. Changes his mind. He's going to let the ref try and count what's going on. Ilya Dragunov just standing in the bedroom. McIntyre's not even entering the win quickly. I guess he doesn't have to because the ref has only just got to three. Now at four. Ilya Dragunov bounces off the ropes. Runs into Drew McIntyre. But Drew McIntyre can next his spine buster. But Ilya Dragunov gets straight back to his feet. Drew McIntyre catches him now. Sends him into the corner. Oh, corner body splash. Now he picks up Ilya Dragunov. Sidewalk Sam maybe. No, a brutal back breaker. But he's not done there. He picks him up. Throws him for a second one. And then throws him to the floor. Poor Ilya. That's what I have to say on this matter. Claymore kick. Oh, wait, reverse. He's just reversed the Claymore kick. Drew McIntyre getting back to his feet. Torpedo Moscow. That's got to be surely. Just reverse the Claymore kick. Two, three, oh my god, the two debutants have absolutely proven they belong in the WWE with two victories here tonight, what a match of that was. Wait a minute guys, we have, wait, oh my god, the champions have come to attack the New Day, what the hell, from the two other debutants, we do not mention his name, we're going to call him Voldemort and Zeus, I don't think this match would ever be possible because I'm pretty sure Zeus is dead, I could be wrong. And obviously we all know Voldemort there, but it looks like the champs wanted to make sure that they lose yet again. The New Day, that is. Looks like Kofi's going to be signing up for the New Day. Zeus for the unlikely duo. The former challengers are staying into it. Zeus now trips up Kofi Kingston with an STO. Already tags in Voldemort. Kofi's beginning to fight back, jumping clothesline, knocks down the man who shall not be named, and it's off the ropes for a big splash pain. I wish we was tag team pie and a biggie there. Then gets him up to his feet. Rain in a nice combination, which ends with a beautiful DDT, picturesque, some might say. And it's off the ropes for a second big splash. Even though both of these men got attacked, be just before the match as you just saw, he's starting off really well here. Kneeling jaw break and knocks down the man. Leg drop connects now. He's trying to ride outside while Kofi Kingston gets him to his feet just beforehand. But he's now sent into the corner of the new day. Kofi tags in Xavier Woods. What the fuck are you doing now? He's hanging him onto the top rope. Xavier Woods on the middle rope with a double axe handle. The chemistry these two former tag team champions have, longest tag team champions of WWE is at one point, bounces off the ropes. Oh, drop toe hold by Voldemort. Cole for Kingston fighting back as he tries to attack him there. Nice combination from Xavier Woods. Ends with beat defeat. Lost in the woods, sorry. Not in defeat. Rolling elbow there. Boots him in the chest there, as you can see. Voldemort has already had a head, technically an head injury. It's a bit ironic on it. What's Xavier Woods going to do here? Discus punch connects. And yet again, a stomp to the chest. A kick to the back. Xavier Woods meaning business here tonight. They are absolutely livid about what the Usos tried to do for him just before the match. What's going to happen here? A corkscrew neck breaker, I guess that could be. Repeated stomps to the chest now of Voldemort, the man who shall not be named. A total of 15 so far. But oh, Xavier Woods was probably a bit tired and he's managed to tag in Zeus. Nice combination with challenges of military press. Going in for the pin, but it's a rope break. Oh, Zeus is not too impressed. He's probably angry with himself there. It is his own fault in a way. Xavier Woods crawling away as Zeus going to the top rope. Xavier Woods just manages to tag in Kofi Kingston. Chop but grabbed by Zeus, sent into the ropes. Kofi ducks the clothesline, drop kicked up by Zeus, and he hits the former WWE champion with a nice German suplex. Now attacking the leg with an elbow drop, leg triangle, and repeatedly attacking 
the near Kofi Kingston, which is something he needs because obviously he's very uh, athletic with some of his moveset. Kofi Kingston kicks out here. Drop kick to Zeus, puts him on his back. Oh, Van Roy connects, kick to the head, keeps him on his back again. With Zeus going in for a roll up, Xavier would just get into his feet. Ref taking a while to go in for the pin, but Kofi kicks out before the ref can even get one count. Zeus now going into his corner with his partner, the one who shall not be named. Even though he's not been in match long. Oh, he's trying to fall back now, no mind, spoke too soon. Kofi tries to go after Zeus, that may cost him. Nope, no mind, he's still fighting back. Chop reverse by Voldemort. And now he's sent to the outside. Kofi Kingston changes his attention to Zeus, but he gets dropped instead. That may come back to bite him in the arse. Kofi Kingston now getting to his feet. What's he going to do here? Sends himself over the top rope into Voldemort. Oh, Zeus now going after him, punching him in the head. A single arm, two forearms, follows up with two double axe handles. Now he gets Volder to his feet, kicks him in the stomach. Trouble in Paradise connects. He just connected trouble in Paradise, guys. Someone racing him all. SOS. Kofi Kingston seems to mean in business, Nick. Ref counts six, both of them moves on the concrete, I mean. Oh wait, he's back to his feet. Already after taking them two moves. He's now trying to attack Kofi, what's he going to do here? Takes him down, gets in off south position. Tries to pin him down, I guess that was for. Going into the pin here. One, two, and Xavier Woods breaks it up at two. Xavier Woods trying to distract the man who shall not be named, but he's sadly sent to the outside. Oh, what's he thinking of doing here? Telling Kofi Kingston to get up. Slingshot sent on, what a beautiful move there. All the men showing athleticism so far. Maybe Zeus is next to show off his surprising agility. What's Kofi Kingston thinking of here? Got him back to his feet. Another trouble in paradise. At least, right, he's going to have a brain of an eight year old Alzheimer's patient. I probably shouldn't have said that. Now he's sent over the top rope. Xavier Woods though. He's picking him up. Kofi Kingston going after Zeus, but Zeus yet again drops him neck first over the top rope well, onto the top rope. Kofi Kingston getting Voldemort up to his feet. Sends him into the corner of his partner. His partner though helping Kofi get getting back in, I guess. Tags Xavier Woods back into the match. We seen this earlier, whilst he's hung, not like that. Oh, for I'm just staying quiet. I just... Where am I, Xavier Woods for the roll-up? One! Two, and Zeus breaks it up at two. What's this fucking thing about? I didn't really just have that to go. Oh, no. He's now fighting back with a trifecta of elbows. Reversal by Voldemort. What's he thinking of doing here? Oh! Crossface! Crippler crossface connects! Load socked in, but Kofi Kingston breaks it up. He's now attacking him. Inzaguri connects, he gets back up to his feet. Second Inzaguri when he moves out of the way. A drop kick to the back there when he was expecting it at least. Now Corrin outside the ring to try and get his breath back. As Xavier was he's still flat out in the ring. Kof Kingston, the first of his feet. He's still on the outside getting up, he's now on his feet. Suicide dive connects. Sending him back into the ring as the ref gets to do the recount. Raining down punches, slamming him face first into the mat. Elbow drop moves out of the way. Oh, he's getting angry, he's flying high. Oh, rubbish. 
What's he going to do here? Diving in, but connects. He's at it. Could this be an upset? Another debut win. One. Kofi Kingston's there to break it up, though, thankfully. Drop kick to the man who shall not be named. Ref sign the disqualification. Count is at two. He's connected a big splash. He needs to get out of this thing so he don't cost his team the victory. Xavier Woods is back to his feet. What's he going to do here? Kofi Kingston. Wait. He just cost his partner there with that piece. Looks like he's giving him for a slingshot um, cross body. But Kofi through him, he should not be down back into the ring. Spring ball drop kick now. They've been all over this man here today. He's repeatedly going for the head. I'm not doing any of this on purpose, guys. I mean, two of them are on purpose. Like the brain of the eight. You get what I mean. Into the woods connects. Right, lost in the woods, sorry. Xavier Woods now picks him up. For a small package driver. Near knock Zeus off the apron. Going in for the victory for the new day. One, two. Oh my god! The boy who lived. It's fuck's sake. It's come to. Oh yeah. What's Xavier Woods going in for here? He's calling out his team. With the on the roll clo clothesline combination, he gets Voldemort up to his feet now. Sends him into the corner with him and Kofi. And what they're going to do here? Oh, we've seen this before. Xavier Woods back break on position. Kofi with a double foot stomp. What a matchup this has been tonight, folks. Spoil the pre match attack. Um, the new day name might be out on top after the finish off. One. Oh, he's he got to one. That is all. Oh, that is not good. He's gonna just take even more punishment now. Kofi Kingston making him pay for a big flash. That's gonna be it. One, two, three. Paying homage to his tag team partner Big E and getting the victory for the N E. I'll try to write him one. Hope you did enjoy this video, guys. I've been in Sable Nightmare Reese. Come on, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.